In this video, we'll go over seven common mistakes that people make when trying to build muscle and give you tips on how to avoid them. How is it going? Everybody welcome to Body Crave, where we're committed to providing informative and helpful videos that help you save time on staying healthy and staying in shape. When it comes to building muscle, you understand that there's a lot that goes into it than just doing the set. There are many more factors that come into play, so I've done a lot of time researching these mistakes from top to bottom. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top seven to help you stay from mistakes and stay on track so you can maximize your muscle building potential and achieve your goals. Let's get started. Make sure you stick towards the end of the video because I'm going to show you a way to increase your muscle growth. First up is one, not eating enough. Diet is one of the two main pillars of muscle building, along with exercise. If you're not consuming enough calories, it will be very hard for your body to build muscle. Calories are essential for fueling your workouts and helping repair and grow muscles. Don't just aim for a calorie surplus for the sake of it. Make sure you're putting clean, nutritious food into your body. And so you'll be a step ahead here. Some foods that definitely fit that category. Lean proteins like chicken, fish, and turkey, also healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, and nuts. Next up, we got number two, not following a structured program. Building muscle requires a careful, well thought out plan. There are various factors to consider, such as your body shape and fitness goals. Without a plan, some areas may be neglected. For example, if your goal is to build muscle, you need to focus on the right exercises. Don't just do the same chest, arms, and ab workouts and expect to pack on serious muscle. Make sure your training program utilizes the overload principle and scientific approaches. You can look into online resources or get a professional to help you. The key is to work smart and hard. Here's some free resources that can help with that I personally use them and I definitely recommend. Even if you're a pro or newbie, both will benefit. The first resource I'm going to share with is an app named Fitbot. It's free for three days, then you pay monthly. A workout app named Shred, very good for body weight workouts. Workout by Fitness 2 to LTD. If you need a weight tracker, this would be great to start with. Three, not drinking enough water. Many people don't realize how much water they lose through sweat when they engage in heavy physical activity. In fact, you can lose up to two liters of water per hour. Muscle cells are made up of protein and water. So if you want to gain more muscle, you need to drink a lot of water. Forget the usual six to eight glasses of water guidelines. To be more accurate, aim to drink half your weight in ounces of water each day. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, you should be drinking approximately 75 ounces or nine cups of water per day. But if that's way too much water for you, then I would recommend drinking 16 ounces of these two natural sports drinks. Four, training too frequently or intensely. It might seem like the more you train, the bigger you get. While there is some truth to this, going overboard with training can lead to muscle breakdown and injuries. It can also cause your body to burn out and increase stress levels and even lead to sickness as it can suppress the immune system. That is the last thing you would want to happen. To help with that, I would recommend a three-day workout schedule just three days out the week that works around your time. Example, Monday chest and triceps, Tuesday rest, Wednesday back and biceps, Thursday rest, Friday legs and shoulders. Five, using poor form. Proper form is crucial when executing exercises. Not only does poor form increase the risk of injury, it also makes it harder to build muscle. When muscles are triggered the wrong way, you won't see as much growth. This is especially important when it comes to strength training, as it can be dangerous if done wrong. Challenge yourself with new weights, but make sure you maintain good form. And to lower that chance of injury as low as possible, there's a video link in the description below that'll help you with that. Six, lifting weights too quickly. You're not in a race here. There's no need to rush your reps. Lifting weights too quickly can lead to injuries and also means that your muscles aren't getting enough time under tension. Time under tension is when muscle fibers get full resistance and muscle building occurs. To get the most out of time under tension, aim for a set to last between 40 to 70 seconds. And here are some tips to help you make sure you're hitting that lifting criteria. Start slowly. Don't hold your breath. Control the weights at all times. Maintain a strong form while lifting. Use the full range of motion. 
Real quick, if you're finding value in this video, give a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. Now, back to the video. Last but definitely not least. 7. Not allowing for sufficient rest and recovery. I cannot stress enough how rest and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. When you lift weights, you're actually causing micro tears in your muscle fibers. These need time to repair and grow stronger if you don't give your body enough time to recover can result in overtraining syndrome and decreased performance. OTS, or overtraining syndrome, is terrible. Your immune system is weakened, you feel worn out, and you have persistent joint and muscular pain as a result. And nobody wants that, so I put a video link in the description below to help with that as well. And as promised, I'm going to show you how to increase your muscle growth here it is. The key to muscle growth is progressive overload. This means continually challenging the muscles with more weight, reps, or resistance than they are used to. The most effective way to achieve this is through a combination of increasing the weight and reps on a regular basis. A technique called double progression, where you increase both the weight and reps at the same time, can be especially effective. However, it's important to note that progressive overload should be done gradually and with proper form to avoid injury. Additionally, it's important to allow the muscles to recover properly after a workout before challenging them again. All right, everybody, that's it for this one. Don't forget to show your support by giving the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comment down below on what you wanna see us cover next for you. Thank you and catch you on the next one.